Okay, we're going to do a demo of the third chair using SketchUp. This is the most recent version. We're going to start off by getting rid of her. Clicked on her and pushed the delete key. I'm going to get my rectangle tool. I'm going to click. I'm going to draw a box. We're going to pull it up. And that looks good to me. Arc tool using my shortcut key, the A key on the keyboard. And P for push pull, click and chop that off. Remember Mr. Turner's number one rule for SketchUp is never hold the mouse button down. All right, here's where it gets a little different than the other videos. We need to make this piece a component. And we do that by selecting it and then making it a component. So if I get my selection tool, I can either do it up here or I can just push the space bar. If I click once, that gives me a surface. Okay, if I double click, I now have a surface and the edges selected, but nothing else. If I triple click, I now have the whole thing selected. We must have the entire thing selected to make a component. If we just click on it once, it won't work. It will not recognize this as a component. So once again, triple click, it's all selected. Now we can do this one of two ways. Easiest way for me is to right click. And then we click on this right here where it says make component. Okay, if you want, you can give it a name. You don't have to, we can just hit create. And you'll notice back here, this will change when I click, click create. All right, so now it has a box around it. It is now a component. And if I try and do anything to this, it won't let me push pull. It won't let me do anything to it unless I want to edit it. You'll notice if I click on it once, the whole thing is selected. It's a component, so that changed it. If I double click, I now have an edit box. Inside the edit box, we can change this now if we want. When we're finished though, we have to make sure we close the edit box by clicking anywhere outside of it. If I click here, we're now outside. So once again, we made this component by triple clicking, right clicking, and making it a component. And once we have a component, we have to double click if we want to edit it. And when we're finished, we have to make sure to click outside. There's step one of our chair.